The easiest thing that you can do is go to your app gallery and then go to search, then open up this keyboard that allows you to draw and then you draw the this symbol and uh, you type in on the first thing that comes up and this is easy abroad or easy exit and you can just install it and this will allow you then to install the Android container. I click on yes to everything here, even is in Chinese. Don't worry. And then you have some applications already here, like the Google application, and you can click on download. Say yes, I want to download it together with Chrome and uh, the Google Maps application and uh, Uber if you want to. There you go. And it's downloading and installing this. There we have another category here where we can install other applications as well. Let me just search for uh, YouTube. Now I can switch back to the English keyboard and I can search for YouTube. I can install it, YouTube Music as well. And uh, maybe even YouTube Studio here, as you see, I can install them very easily. And uh, they're installing here right now. There should be another folder called the Easy Exit folder. And there you can see I have Google Maps of Chrome. I can just open up Google and I can say accept all. And then I can sign in if I want to. And I use the Google account here and I can sign in normally. And after you signed in, you get all your Google News Feed there. And you can then just go on also use Maps, uh, YouTube. So we go in here, YouTube, I am automatically in the right um, my right user and I can do everything that I want to do on YouTube just like normally like watching this if I want to. It looks quite nice. The other application that you can find that also offers an Android container is Droy Chong and this is where you can find it at the app gallery but if you have difficulties typing it or drawing it you can also just search for an application that you know it's an Android application and uh, or just random stuff and it allows you to go view in search apps which is the Droid Tong search as app application it will automatically give you some warnings and you can click through and it will create a Droid Tong folder where you have the possibility then to install Android applications and if you want to get new applications go to the Droid Tong folder click on add and this will bring you to the app gallery from Joy Tong but this one even though it is in English and you have the application folder nicely here structured with various different categories doesn't offer the applications that I know at least so it is not very useful for me this is why I'm mostly are concentrating on easy abroad for an easy access to Google services to install applications in general you can click on this search um, apps icon and it is a basically web browser and you can just go into your google website and just just for fdroid for example go to the fdroid website click on download the apk file and uh, you can then install this fdroid is supported in this case and in droid tong at least i have the fdroid store i can try to install some other applications with this one here just like for example k9 mail you can just click install here it will download it and it will offer me the installation process no threads found i can install it uh, very easily and then i can open it and configure k9 mail uh, as my mail client another far easier way with easy abroad is using the google chrome browser and just searching for the application that you want for example i'm searching for thunderbird apk and if I would type it correctly, it should offer me also a link to the Google Play Store. And what I can do is press on it and it will open up in its own kind of yeah, Google Play Store replacement and allows me then to install the application. This works not for all Google Play Store apps, but some of them are working like, for example, Thunderbird and I can just simply open it up and have the possibility to configure Thunderbird. But how about installing APK files onto your Droid Tong or Easy Abroad? And this is why I have both of them installed and I'm not like only using and relying on one because 
Yeah, there are some limitations. And this is what I mean. So the Droitong, for example, say, says to the Aurora store, can't install, this app is not supported by Droitong. And the other way around, you find it the same way with Easy Abroad, that some applications, some APK files that you download cannot be installed with this. But how did I get Aurora store working here on Droitong? There is a way to get it working by using a tool which is not possible to be installed on Easy Abroad. It is called APK Tool M. And if you search for this one here as an APK file, you can install it on Droitong and you can execute it and it will scan for APK files. You go to your download directory, you go to your Aurora store APK, you um, press on it, actually just single press, you go on and choose, where is it, quick edit, and then you choose another package name. You can even randomly select one package name, click on save, it will create a new Aurora.com mod APK, and this one you can then install and the installer will not complain about installing this. No threads found, as you can see, I click install and it can be installed and I have the Aurora store now running here. I can log in with my Google account that I have set up in MicroG and then I can just simply download applications. As Droitong and Easier Broad are sharing their Android container between each other, I cannot install one application on Droitong and on Easier Broad at the same time. I can only choose one or another. The biggest difference between Easier Broad and Droitong is that when you are in Easier Broad and want to move out um, icons, it is not, not possible. Icons cannot be moved out of this folder. On Droitong, however, it supports the new API and I can just simply drag an icon out of this folder and place it somewhere else on another screen. And it just gets a nice little indicator that this is now a Droitong app and not a native application, but this can be dragged out of the folder. One of the biggest pain points definitely for some people and cumbersome for sure is file transference because the Android applications are running in a separate container and all the applications here are not able to access either gallery or all the native file system. You have a file transfer application on Droitong or on Easy Abroad. The Droitong one is easier to read because it's in English. So you can conveniently com copy files over from your native system to your Android system. I have to agree here and then I can copy images, video or other files. I can choose them over and then the Android application can use those files like pictures or video files and this is also a way very convenient way of when i have some video files here for example already done where i can use kd connect or other file transfer applications to simply pair to a device like my xiaomi pad 6 pro and then transfer the files over so this is working very nicely most applications are working fine, but Netflix, for example, white wine level three, of course, it doesn't have Android here. There's no white wine, so you don't have the possibility to watch HD streaming that is relying on white wine. Easy Abroad allows me even to install my banking application, which is the Sparkasse here in Germany, the one that I'm using. And it's working fine. It's doing everything that it should do. I'm not showing you my statements here right now, but I can transfer money uh, over if I want to. I have to have a second factor that is not on this phone, that is somewhere else right now. That is uh, probably I can install here this as well, but I can see all my bank accounts and details and where the next ATM machine is. Such things are possible. So banking apps in general, if they are doing the same functionality as my bank is doing, is working. You can install NFC payment applications like Curve, for example. Sadly, if you go to your settings in NFC as default app, you cannot set Curve here, so it's not possible to pay with it. As you see, the PayPal app is showing up under the NFC options as default payment option. But for some reason, after logging in, I'm stuck on this here, downloading English language files, and it never really progresses. So I cannot really test PayPal. If you have a solution, write it down in the comments if it's working for you. Some people are asking how about chat notifications. As I said in my first impressions video, you have to go into the settings of either Droitong or of Easy Abroad to be able to set up the 
notification support for applications and enable notifications here so in general they should be able to show up but most of those notifications are actually not really showing up or because of the application being killed in the background they never show up so especially chat applications will suffer a lot from this how about games yes you can run games in the android container like i'm running asphalt unite here and you can see here it's looking gorgeous on this uh, very large screen and you have a very nice experience uh, running games um, maybe not always in the highest quality but very very smoothly as you can see here, this is the tutorial level where i don't have to do much it will do everything automatically but yeah games can run on the uh, droitong or easier broad container as well some apps however the hardest you try you cannot get them to run like huawei health for example yes there's a huawei health app also built in here but this one i cannot pair with my watch because if i go in here click on add device you will see the resource failed and even if i scan in the qr code it will tell me that it cannot connect to the network so i try to install the android application first of all it doesn't allow me on droitong so i used apk uh, apk tool m but i can install it but it's not opening up at all so yes there are some limitations with applications that are not working Generally speaking, those solutions, Droitong and Easy Abroad, should be seen as what they are. They are temporary solutions until native applications are available. So they're just like to ease the pain a little bit of switching to Harmony OS Next, especially with a focus of Chinese users. With Easy Abroad, you also have the easy possibility to install Google applications and run them, but it's not a pleasant experience with like the possibility to not directly access your gallery or other files on your file system. You have to always use the transfer app to get to them or the annoyance with the yeah, notifications not appearing because the app has been killed in the background so keep that in mind when thinking about getting a huawei pure x if you have or heavily rely on android applications then probably this might not be a very pleasant experience even though this device rocks